So here I just talk about this this map, city of design map, and then I go to directly to the the, the key point. Why did we apply for the designation at the very beginning of the 2017? And uh, you know, as it rapid urbanized and uh, develops, Wuhan faces serious challenges regarding its um, economic growth, eco-environment, and cultural heritage protection. And uh, considering Wuhan's rel relative advantages in terms of historical cultural resources, technical personnel, and engineering design, we wish to make creative design a key drive of our sustainable development. And, uh, and, um, and uh, in 2012, the municipal government put into effect its plan to transform Wuhan into a city of a creative design a bad to accelerate the development of its creative industries and give new momentum to the economic growth through the integration of culture and technology to forge natural and uh, cultural landscape of culture, ecological and economic value for the resident quality of life through innovative urban planning and heritage safeguarding programs and to stimulate the public innovativeness and design capability, especially that of the next generation, the young, the young generations through more effective public office, public po policies. And the Wuhan hopes its designation will create more opportunities to employ the creative design in a better practice of its people-oriented sustainable development philosophy. Thus, it will fulfill its vision for design of the people, by the people, for the people. And that is kind of, um, I mean, the, the thing that is dominating the application materials for the city of design application. And, um, so they, we, we, next time go to the second part of our lecture that's about just um, the general information of our city before I go deeper to the major local initiative um, we undertook in the past four years so that you can have a better understanding what we've been, we've been doing in the past years. And actually Wuhan is a large city, very large city located, sorry located in the central region of China, sitting by the Yangtze River. The convergence of the Yangtze River and the Han River divides the city into, um, into, uh, into three towns, Hanyang, Hankou, and uh, Wutang districts. And also the, it covers an area of um, 8,569.415 8, square kilometers with a population of um, 12.33 million, and one fourth of the cities is water, and uh, a total of um, 166 lakes are the most typical local natural resources. So you may find a lot of bridges that have been built over the Yangtze River and the Han River, almost 10, uh, more than around 10 bridges in the engineering design field. And the Wuhan is also the Chinese education center where around 30 million young students are pursuing their studies in around 89 universities, among which over 30 uh, universities offer creative design courses and nurture over 8,000 graduates practicing design. And those, and uh, China has, uh, Wuhan has a history of 3,500 years. And um, it is the cradle of urban civilization in the Yangtze River Basin and uh, the scene of the 1911 revolution that put an end to the Chinese feudalism. And in, it, it is also the first inline city in modern China to start industrial modernization. So that's why you may find a lot of industrial heritage that is still um, retained in this city. And in this circumstance, circumscription of this 35 year old national famous historical cultural city that is per, per, particular Chinese way of saying are, are, there are 1300 per patrimonial remains and over 10 were preserved modern industrial heritage sites. This is a great source of inspiration for the city's many thousands of creative practitioners 
Also, Wuhan is leading role in the fields of engineering design, such as the water conservation, high speed railway, iron and steel, chemical industry, coal transportation port, automobile, bridge, and uh, architecture in the world. Supported by its national top design technology, has won the city respect. And also, it is the our engineering design we use as a our advantages to apply for the UNESCO City of Design designation. And uh, but now our efforts is more uh, focused on on the integrated development of all the discipline design disciplines of around the city, including the. Um, industrial design as well as the animation design and the creative design. So that's the general information of our city. And then now I'm coming to the part of the major initiative we undertook locally and over the past four years of following the designation. And actually the, the first thing we do after the designation is the, to enhance the top level design and um, and uh, this um and Wuhan for year, four years uh, just um, Wuhan put an emphasis on the enhancement of the top level design established a joint conference for building a UNESCO city of design which com is composed of 38 municipal departments and the people's governments of the various districts in a bid to comprehensively coordinate and facilitate the development of UNESCO City of Design. Wuhan Urban and Rural Construction Bureau is responsible for the daily work and the, the, the non-government organization working together with the, the public institution in the government sector, uh, that is the, the, the non-government organization that is Wuhan City of Design Promotion Center with, where I'm working for, and uh, together with the Wuhan Design Industry Promotion Office, that is a populist institution that is affiliated with the Bureau, are uh, working together to 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 do some to responsible for the for the specifically implementation of some key projects. And uh, for my organization, that is the Wuhan City of Design Promotion Center, it, is, um, it was established in 2016, and, uh, and uh, it concludes, it, is, uh, it has 200 organi organizations uh, as its members to promote the development of UNESCO City of Design together with the government. And, uh, and after the, the enhancement of top level design and um, the outline for the Wuhan UNESCO City of Design development and uh, the several policies and the measures in Wuhan City on accelerating UNESCO City of Design development, other key documents, government documents were formulated to clarify the main tasks, performance targets and the funding guarantee measures uh, for each year for the building of the City of Design. And uh, Sorry, oh, sorry. Just too quick. And also we have um, attached a great importance to the promotion of the integrated development of the design industries, such as the engineering, the industry, fashion, animation, and the games in esports, music, food, etc. Additionally, large, medium, and all small enterprises and independent designers are encouraged to play their special role in forming a pattern of unique integrated development. And, um, and the leading technical advantages are maintaining Wuhan's engineering design with excellent engineering design works constantly being created via the design concept of technology plus arts the re revitalization and development of industrial design was promoted in Wuhan too, in doing made in, made in Wuhan and created in Wuhan with higher value. And the Wuhan's cultural and creative design is also thriving over the past years. And one outstanding case in the creative industry is the animation one small step co-produced co by Wuhan was nominated for the Academy Award for Best uh, animated short film of Oscar, and um, and uh, in addition to this, in 
promotion for integrated development of all kinds of design disciplines. And we also trying to build um, the vigorously promoted construction of city of design demonstration parks with industrial clusters. And, um, and uh, that is um, the, some of the, many of the demonstration parks and has some historical and cultural blocks and the industrial sites. And they, this site has been reviewed as the creative design parks. We supported development of this distinctive design parks, built platforms where the industrials gather and promoted gathering and the development designers through the recognition of the demonstrate parks of UNESCO City of Design. And the funds were set aside to support this design parks. And uh, one of those recognized as the first group of demonstration parks of Wuhan City of Design, it would include the Tanhualin City of Design Industrial Demonstrator Park. That is the, it also, we, we, we normally call it the James Jackson Museum, where the James Jackson Museum is located. And then the James Jackson Museum is also the Wuhan City of Design parlor, it shoulders the central part of the uh, Wuhan UNESCO City of Design's tasks, such as the information release, cultural communication, education, training, and international exchange. And uh, through organizing regular cultural activities, design exhibitions, and um, masters lectures, and the parlor has become an important window for Wuhan UNESCO City of Design to communicate with other parts of the world. And they all, I will give a detailed instruction, the introduction of this um, Jim Jackson Museum in the final part, focusing on the heritage protection because um, it is also one of the understanding case for our city to renovate the, 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 the old industrial heritage sites. And I will introduce in detail later in the final part. And, uh, and uh, and also we have, um, in, over the past years, we also attach great importance to the civic participation in the design. And uh, one of the key projects is the creation and uh, recognition of the creative communities of the city of design. And uh, with design, just um, introduced into communities to serve citizens. And in this project, citizens are encouraged to participate in the design of the, such as the barrier fear facilities and uh, retrofitting for aging and community landscape design. And the financial subsidies are provided by the governments, the district governments, and both the, the, the municipal governments to motivate the citizens to build a livable environment together with the governments, with the professions, professionals. And also there is a network platform was established for the public participation in design. The design plan of over thousand of urban micro spaces and pocket parks by the local government was released on the website of a massive planning Wuhan as the name suggested. And uh, by this platform, we encourage the participation of the citizens in the, de in the, the, in the, in the designing process of this uh, this, this kind of um, pocket parks and micro spaces are citywide. And all citizens are invited to express their opinions and their suggestions and encouraged to participate in the, the, the design making process, decision making process. And um, also since the 2018, Wuhan has actively supported the design companies, colleges and universities and the institution in the organization of creative events and given funding subsidies to the better mobilize the social forces to participate in the development of city of design. And, um, and every, just um, every year, the Wuhan Design Day and uh, they, they design individual, they, they private design components and institutions are encouraged to, to, to organize the creative events together with our Biennale. And if they are just successfully applied for the series of um, events for our Biennale, we, we will just um, include them in the whole program and offer the kind of um, subsidies to those, uh, those, um, the, those creative events uh, succeed, which succeeded in application. And uh, 
through the platform such also such as the Wuhan Design website and Wuhan City of Design quarterly, we extensively promoted the concept of UNESCO City of Design and the concept of the UCCN to raise the public awareness on the on creativity and the culture. And uh, we encourage all sectors of the society support and uh, participate in the in the participate in the in the uh, development of the, our creative cities and the city of design. And uh, and uh, and over the past four years, we still emphasize the cultivation of the design talents and uh, talents. And um, and uh, and uh, we. We also just um we promoted the attraction of the cultivation of design talents at all levels under well organized plans and many major projects have been undertaken to just to cultivate the design talents in our city. The first one is the four major intellectual resources gathering Wuhan projects, which was heavily promoted a kind of a municipal projects and also there's a young designers training program was implemented to train 5,000 young designers every year to improve the professional capabilities of designers. And also there's a projects of the masters entering schools and the famous teachers entering enterprises were promoted to encourage the sharing of talents and the resources between enterprises and university and the schools. And uh, they, and also there in just um, in 2019, the Wuhan Independent Designers Alliance in 2020, I think, sorry, the Wuhan Independent Designers Alliance was also established and designers and creative workers who used to work individually um, were organized by Wuhan State of Design Platform Promotions and, and uh, our promotion center on a voluntary basis to facilitate them in connecting with the markets and uh, and uh, and also the number of the independent designers in this alliance is keep expanding um, since the 2020. And uh, they also they say we also have uh, this, sorry, not there in my slides. And uh, there's also we uh, in just in the just the past the Wuhan Design Biennale we've established the Wuhan International Youth League for Urban Design Innovation, and uh, together creative design resources and creative highlights of creative cities through rich art design practice, uh, academic research and cultural exchange around the world. And the designers were invited to participate in the planning and the major urban construction projects. So as to establish the leading position of design urban construction, and uh, make decision making more scientific and professional. And um, also the, the last uh, part of um, what we've been de doing in the past years is the um, extent that is that when extensive publicity was carried out in Wuhan through the planning and holding of them major creative design events. And including the, um, the, the including the um, the Wuhan Des Design Day, which take place on November the first every year, and uh, also the the um, and uh, also the Wuhan Design Biennale, which took pl take place twice a year, and uh, only Wuhan Design Day, um, just um in the in the just in this year. This year in 2021, the Wuhan Design Day happens to, to take place together with Wuhan Design Biennale. So it means a big event for our city. And on this day and during this period, and uh, which last for maybe uh, for 12 days, and the design events involving all citizens were held to publicize well, Wuhan City of Design and the design thinking and 27 exhibitions and uh, 52 various design activities were held on the, uh, on during these 12 days. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Wuhan Design Biennale has been held for six edition now. And um, just, um, I mean, the, 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 just, um, the combination of Wuhan Design Day and Wuhan Design Biennale this year have attracted actually a total of 1.5 million offline 
and the online audiences. And uh, it, it also it hosts to 30 cities of design who have participated in our exhibitions. And the 17 Chinese cities uh, also sent their design projects to be shown during the Biennale. And, uh, and uh, more than 600 design agencies have been involved in our Biennale and uh, Design Day. And also we've, um, every year we are going, we, we've organized the Wuhan Creative Design Context. And uh, it has been held for three times so far and uh, attracting the domestic, both the domestic international designers to participate in the creative activity design. And um, in 2021, the third Wuhan Creative Design Context lost for three months and 500 entries were collected in total during this three months. And uh, there also the Wuhan Fashion Week supports this, which supports the newly emerged local fashion design groups, enhance the strengths of the local or original fashion brands, enrich the city's artistic and cultural life. In November the 2020, 18 shows were held during the ninth Wuhan Fashion Week, attracting over 1 billion viewers online in total. And because I'm sorry that I cannot introduce the Wuhan Fashion Week this year because the statistics and the, the general information has not come out. And uh, so I just introduced a brief introduction of the, the Fashion Week in 2020. Over the past four years, we've also strengthened this, um, that is what this, I'm just talk about is about the, 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 the local initiative we undertook over the past year. Actually, um, to join the UNESCO Creative Cities Network, one of the big, um, big benefits we can get as this uh, creative city is that um, we can just, um, just work together with, um, with all the creatives around the world to share and learn from each other. So we Wuhan City also very uh, strengthened, just um, have um, international corporations with creative cities by introducing the collaborate, collaborate projects into our regularly held Wuhan Design Day and Wuhan Design Biennale, hosting or co-hosting the intercity exchange events and actively participating in the creative events hosted by other cities. So this four part is going to focus on the intercity cooperation of our cities with other creative cities around the world. And uh, the first, um, the, 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 the firstly, we would just um, take advantage of the Wuhan Design Biennale and as well as the Wuhan Design Day as a good platform to initiate intercity projects. And uh, during the Wuhan Design Biennale, Wuhan Design Day, Actually, there is some Wuhan Creative City Roundtable Conference. It has been held for four times since 2016. And, um, and it is the permanent, it, ever since the 2017, it, um, it becomes a permanent um, conference in our Wuhan Design Biennale. And this year, that is, we've invited 14 creative cities in Asia to join us in a discussion around the developing of the creative industries, um, the developing the creative industries. And, um, and Ochomai is also one of the creative city who has just joined us in the discussion. And, um, and during this round table, this year's round table, and uh, it is a format, it is a kind of um, hybrid format with international guests attending online and the Chinese creative cities representative and guest attending offline. And, um, and it, is, it was moderated by the David Grossman, the former president of the International Council of um, Design. And uh, under his moderation, the creation, this, um, this round table actually um, just uh, welcomed um, the just more than 14 creative cities. The aspects was coming from the, the, the 14 creative cities, but then they, they are also some representative from the cities around the world who put design as, as the driving force of their development. And uh, so this 
Wuhan Creative Roundtable has become a, a major platform, platform for us to collaborate and, and share and discuss together with the creative cities around the world. And uh, also during this Wuhan Design Day in Pyongyang, we have um, organized guest owner city exhibitions. In, and uh, so far we've invited two city of designs and to join us to, in Pyongyang uh, as guest of owner city. And uh, in 2019, we've invited a Saint-Étienne, the city of design in French, to, to, to hold an exhibition as, as a, our guest of owner city exhibition. And uh, this year in 2021, in the, during the sixth Wuhan Design Biennale, we've invited the Puebla, a city of design in Mexico, to join us in a Biennale as the guest owner city exhibition. And in addition to this guest owner city exhibition, we've also introduced a kind of um, City of Design exhibition. This exhibition actually we've uh, tried best to include as many as City of Designs around the world to send their design projects and the design concept to be displayed in our exhibition. And this year in 2021, we've um, succeeded in just um, inviting um, 25 City of Design in the world to join us to display, to display why, what the just some um, the, 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 the design stories, the design venues and design activities of the city of designs. And, um, and, uh, and I think um, it's also our way to raise the, the public's awareness on the city of design sub-network. And uh, this is the, the, the Wuhan Design Pyongyang we use as a platform to, to conduct international cooperation. And also we've um, co hosted many international projects such as the African Young Designers Training Program. And uh, it is a, actually the UNESCO have um, promoted the African just priority concept. And, uh, and uh, because they, they wish to, all the cities can be worked and just on, um, uh, work to to in, just to help the especially the this the, the and the especially the cities in African continent to join our UNESCO Creative Network so as to achieve a kind of geological balance. So that's why the Wuhan government has initiated this African Young Designers Training Program to help the African cities to join in the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. And it has now the, the Wuhan city has been organized has organized two edition of this African Young Designers Training Program. It started in 2019, and we succeeded to welcome the five students from Cape Town, the city of design in South Africa, and Antip, the candidate city of the city of design in 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 Uganda. And uh, uh, there, they have sent four students to come to Wuhan to join the 11 students who pursued the 11 African stu students who pursued their studies in Wuhan universities to, to, to join this um, training program. That is the first edition, but after the pandemic, and uh, we this year we it comes to we we have to we will we will organize the second edition, but it's it's a totally online training program. And um, even though these, the participants but, and can, can join online, but still we didn't invite the, the students from the African continent because it is an intensive program. So we only invited the students in, who pursued their studies in, in Wuhan as a design student to join the online training program this year. There are 20 students, overseas students um, from, in, from several universities in Wuhan join this program. And also that's, um, yes, this, we also use the UNESCO pro platform as a, as a, a platform to, 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 to achieve academic cooperation and uh, we've um, we've um, organized the uh, Wuhan and um, uh, the Hubei Institute of Fine Arts uh, to sign an agreement with the Graz Technology Universities. That is, Graz is all the city of design in Austria. And also we've um, 
also have um, um, organized the Wuhan University of Technology to sign a kind of a cooperation of the, the, the MOU with the Chiang Mai University. That is, it, it took place in 2019. And also we've also have make, um, also co-hosted many international projects such as the rivers and uh, coexist coexistent art exhibition. It is an exhibition co-hosted by Chiang Mai and Wuhan together. And we invited the, the, the artists from um, both Wuhan and Chiang Mai to, to engage in a three months thematic uh, creation and just around the topics of the just their ref to, to, to express their express the, their thinkings on the only the outbreak of the COVID-19. And uh, it was um, uh, launched in, in 2020 in Wuhan, and then has been introduced to display, to, to introduce to be displayed in Chiang Mai in, in the very beginning of 2021. And I think it's a quite a successful ex joint exhibition by Wuhan and Chiang Mai. And also there's a um, very just um, meaningful project that is still ongoing. And uh, tonight actually I'm going to, to join this, um, the award ceremony of this project that is the International Street Design Challenge. And uh, it is a kind of uh, international um, in projects co-hosted by Wuhan and Curitiba City of Design in Brazil, and also the Quahi Taro, a city of design in Mexico. And uh, we three cities are the organizer of the International Street Design Challenge. It is, we asked the, the universities in the design cities to send a, their uh, teacher and student team to join the, uh, to, to, to you kind of found um, to giving the kind of solutions to the street problems in another cities of design. So we are just organizer are doing kind of matching up uh, between the students teacher team and uh, the, the, the street challenge. And, um, and uh, it is also very successful. And, uh, and then the, then the many, there are totally of five universities in, in uh, no, around 10 universities teams has participated from five uh, city of designs has joined in this in this project and um, and uh, just uh, this project is aimed to discuss the, to encourage the students to rethink the, the, the resilient healthy and uh, um, sustainable recovery of the uh, of a street uh, in their cities. And uh, that is the two international projects Wuhan has been has co-hosted with other creative cities, and also we have uh, extensively participated in the creative events that is in the UNESCO Creative Cities Network, including the Grass Design Month that is often that's normally uh, took place in in May every year, and Dongdi Design Parade, Beijing International Design Week, So Design Cloud. Asahikawa Design Week, also the Chiang Mai Prats Forum and the Macau International Food Forum, etc. And, uh, and also we've conducted a joint research on Chinese creative cities. A report on creative cities in China has been compiled about our city to, to, to give an introduction of the creative cities in China and, uh, and uh, what they are doing and uh, to, to kind of um, just um, make a kind of compilation of the creative city in China. And uh, that is the joint research. So that is the activities we participate in the past years. And uh, some kind of the projects we collaborated with other cities. And uh, then we come to the future actions. So this part is very important because, um, you know, I think that um, for all the cities who apply for the, uh, who, who have won a designation in 2017 have to submit the, the monitoring, the membership monitoring reports this year. And, uh, and uh, for this me membership monitoring reports, this part is the key part. And uh, it is kind of uh, offered a kind of promise to the UNESCO. What are you going to do in the following four years? What are you going to achieve 
to 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 do to 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 practice the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. And here I just um, quote some kind of uh, key points of uh, the, 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 the future action plans of our city and uh, the development vision for, for the city as we will just um, adhere to the concept of high quality development accelerates the, uh, the, the, the innovative development of design industries and make continuous efforts to build a UNESCO city of design with Chinese characteristics. And, um, and also the development path is we will dedicate ourselves to the development mode of UNESCO, C UNESCO City of Design, which is government-led, enterprises-based with social participation and international cooperation. That's the general development path we are going, we are going to follow in the, in the years to come. And it is on several key projects we're going to implement or we, we can say still some of the projects are still in being implemented right now and just in the middle of implementation. The first the Yangtze River Left Bank Creative Design City. It is a very big project and it is located on the left bank of the Yangtze River in Wuhan. It is at the core of Wuhan historical landscape. I will give a, a kind of introduction later in heritage protection because it is the future plan for the actually for the integrated coordinated development of the of the design design industries and the historical um, and, and and the historic the, the heritage pro, uh, preservation and the second project is going we are going to build a kind of um, design museum actually. Just as according to my observation, in, in, almost in the majority of the city of design around the world has some um, these design museums or design centers where the where where the people they uh, where, where people can know about more about design and the, the design products and design thinkings in one place. And uh, but Wuhan has uh, haven't yet have this kind of um, design museum. But um, just uh, you know, coming years, so we we're going to 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 build this design museum and at the um, at one of the permanent um, main venue of Wuhan Design Biennial, we call it is the the, the Sunak 1918-19 Palo Demonstration Zone. Uh, it is a and um, we are going to build a comprehensive Wuhan Design Museum, museum for exhibition, trainings, conferences, and activities, and uh, and uh, citizen-oriented design cultural centers with unique um, with unique um, features and stories to be built in in this demonstration park. It is also one of the demonstrate has already been recognized as a demonstration park of the UNESCO City of Design by the Wuhan government. And uh, we are going to, to just uh, use this design to introduce the cooperation among the design enterprises and manufacturing enterprise, universities and colleges in the city to work together in this design museum or make design demonstration parks. And uh, also the other projects key projects is the optimization project for living environment and um this um according to the three-year action plan for optimizing op op optimizing the living environment in one city design will be deeply involved in the renovation of old neighborhoods as well as to improve the living environment of the ordinary citizens and uh, and also during this um I just um just when conducting this project, excellent cases for optimizing the uh, living environment through design will be selected, and, uh, encouraged, and displayed. And uh, and also we are going to build another set of creative communities of UNESCO City of Design, and uh, so that um just to to bring creativity design to serve the native local people and. Um, so that is another people, another project we 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 are keep uh, we will just use to encourage the civic participation in design in the future. 
And uh, also there is a, a, a kind of international project I quote here. That is the building of the Wuhan Research Institute for the UNESCO Creative um, Industries. It's more of a, an idea born out of this year's Wuhan Creative Cities Roundtable Conference. And, um, and it is, um, it, and uh, we're in the coming years, we're, we're, we're just organize the design universities, design companies, as well as the, um, the, the design institutions, both inter locally and locally based and internationally based to work together to build this um, research institutes from creative industries. It is aimed to support for the academic research, product promotion, information exchange, and uh, talent training to facilitate development of global creative industries and a better cooperation among the creative cities. And uh, so this is more of a, it, this, this idea is just born. So it's very, right now it's quite in, in at its initial st stage and, uh, and uh, in coming years, we will just work on it as a, our, our major international cooperation project for the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. So the next part is the, it's, it's kind of um, response to our theme that is heritage protection and during our Sea of Design promotion project. And, uh, mm, sorry. And, and to better preserve our city's historical heritage, especially industrial heritage, is one of the many reasons why we apply for the city of design designation. Over the past four years, we've been working on an integrated and coordinated development of the design and heritage protection. And uh, one organization plays a very important role in this process, which is the Wuhan Research Society on Shared Beauty. Heritage, it officially established in 2000, actually is, it is in, in 2013. It is a social organization of the cultural heritage conservation and composed of experts, scholars, relevant design companies, scientific research institutes, universities, consulting institutions, industrial research associations, associations, relevant enterprises who actively promote the conservation development heritage in Wuhan. The society actually is formed voluntarily and uh, in building a city of line um, with our own characteristics. Wuhan city of line team actually strengthened in the interaction with the, um, the UNESCO chair in industrial heritage. And the, this uh, UNESCO industrial heritage chair was actually uh, won by the but the, 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 the society I just um, mentioned. And, um, and uh, together with this society, that is Wuhan Research Society on Shared Build Heritage, we co-hosted the, the ECOMOS Cross Forum with, um, and for consecutive four years, for just focusing on the discussion of the uh, coordinated development heritage and protection and the growth of design industries. And uh, here, next I am going to give a brief introduction of the ECOMOS, the um, Crossover Forum. The Crossover Forum actually founded in, it's um, founded in, it's not founded in 2011, sorry, 2013 by the ECOMOS, invited officials from UNESCO and ECOMOS, as well as the domestic and foreign aspect in the field, engage in, in a kind of trans-border exchange and design and design and uh, heritage protection. Nine edition has been held um, so far. The foreign just um, uh, contributed to the promoting of the creative um, Interactive integration of um, university and cities, engineering, culture, creative, creativity, and heritage, and heritage and sustainable development. And uh, since 2018, it became one part of our Wuhan Design Biennale. And uh, we can provide a kind of subsidies 
for this to encourage the society to organize this crossover forums. And uh, and also that is this is one of the things we try to do to to integrate and to the development of the city of design promotion and industrial heritage protection. And uh, also in our UCCM project and uh, our city has also increased the renewal of historical areas, industrial heritage and um, in industrial heritage sites has been renovated and transformed into kind of favorite destinations for the citizens and Bionel's design events has been deliberately and frequently organized in these historical areas to encourage the reuse of them, thus giving them a new life. And hereby, I like to just give you some examples so that you will have a just a better understanding what we do with the historical buildings just during our process for the promoting of the UNESCO City of Design project. The one of the James Jackson Museum, which I I I, I mentioned in the uh, former part of my lecture, and it is now serving as the Wuhan City of Design Parlor, where we receive delegations from our network as the name suggested. It was built in 1921 and it has a history of more than 100 years old. Used to, it is used to be the gymnasium of Wenhua University. That is the former name of the Huazhong University of Huazhong Normal University. And it is named after the first principal of the university, James Jackson. The museum is the existing oldest oldest university building in Wuhan, reflecting a combination of both a Western and Chinese architectural styles. And in 2014, the district government, that is the district government of Wuchang, that is one of the three towns in Wuhan, has started its renovation plan by organizing experts from various fields engaged in this planning process of a renovating process. And the whole preparation of renovation process took three years and it was then reopened in 2016, just um, by the end of 2016. And it has been used as a exhibition or conference center for the city of design promotion ever since. And currently the first floor of the place is for design exhibitions, salons, designer salons. And then the second floor is mainly used as a conference hall where academic seminars and cultural events are being frequently held. And also it is um, open freely to the citizens and the people can just uh, visit the museums at, um, at weekdays. And as the Wuhan City of Design Parlor, it is also one of the permanent venues for our Biennale. So every edition of Biennale, there will be it will be the one of the venues for, for exhibitions. And uh, this is the first example of the, the industrial heritage protection, the renovation projects in our city. And then the second, can, uh, second case is the Pinghe Fang renovation and uh, reutilization projects. It is located in the formal British concession in the Hankou um, area where there are several century old protected buildings. The process of um, urbanization has brought about the transformation of this building functions of the original concession plots. Built in 1905, the Pinghe packaging factory. It used to be a factory that's um, packaging the cotton. And um, the, the, uh, in, and uh, it was founded that the, the, the British business, uh, Lindo Brothers. And after reform and uh, opening up of our country, it was scattered and rented out as hotels, bars, warehouse, and other fun, and having other functions. And, but um, just in the renovation projects, just um, reformed, transformed it into a cultural and creative industrial parks, integrating the function of culture, arts, fashion, design, innovation, extra, by special combining, com, com, combining 
structural re reinforcement and functional extension of the separate units, thus creating new use for these historical buildings. And uh, this project is very large and is still in the middle of renovation. We over um, just um, uh, up now, till now, we only just entered the second phase of the renovation and uh, back in 2019, and we make it the main venue of our Wuhan, the fifth Wuhan Design Biennale. And, um, and, uh, and right now is the, they, they, they renovated part of this historical buildings has already become the very favorite destinations for the citizens to take photos and uh, to, to join the art uh, exhibitions and uh, some other cultural events. And uh, it also a kind of a hub for the cultural and creative industries. It was also designated, they designated or recognized as the City of Zand Administration Parks in 2020. And uh, that is the second case of the uh, renovation of the industrial heritage ice in our city. And so, so that it, and uh, in order to get some to, to keep protecting our heritage ice during our UCCM projects promotion. And we have set up this um, future plan that is the Yangtze River Left Bank Creative Design City, the building of the construction of this Yangtze River Left Bank Creative Design Cities. And uh, I just mentioned before, but here I just give a brief introduction in details. That is the, because in our city, the Yangtze River banks just boast a rich ecological and cultural commercial tourism and the population resources. A great proportion of the city's cultural heritage is pre preserved on these banks, especially buildings and industries. So there are many industrial heritage along this Yangtze River um, banks. And uh, the Yangtze River Left Bank Creative Design Cities is located on the left bank of the Yangtze River in Wuhan. It's at the core of Wuhan's historical landscape. And uh, in the just in this project, the profound uh, historical, cultural, and ecological landscape resources will be fully utilized and international design institutions are involved, will be involved to build a creative design block, integrated industry, tourism, commerce, leisure, and food, thus rendering this project as an iconic case for all the city and new life. And, uh, and the Ping He Fang I just introduced is at also at the core of this project. So it's really, really well take a long, long years, take a long term to finish this construction of design city, creative design cities. So that is end of my, um, that is end of my sharing and lecture. And you will find at this, on this slide, the website for our Wuhan City of Design, the official website for Wuhan City of Design, as well as the, the official website for the Heritage Wuhan, where you can just find something about the, the, the heritage protection in our city, and as well, which is, was operated by the society I just mentioned. And uh, this is my email, and I, that's it. I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you so much for Cindy Lee.